Like Maracas Beach on a sunny day Smiling like we just reach on a holiday Feel the Caribbean breeze hit in your face Cause baby honestly there's no better place baby. Welcome to the Come Let Me Go podcast. Yeah, man, today I'm doing the intro because why not? Today, you are joined. What did you what? say? I'm doing the intro. What did you say after that? Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What is that? What? <laughs> anyway, <sighs> Olia, welcome to the Come Let Me Go podcast. It's your truly DJ Branch. So joined alongside. Joined alongside. Joined alongside you. Why are you joining alongside, bro? Yes, I hate you, eh? I'm never gonna do the intro again. You know what? I don't well, you, need, with that. you need to do the fucking intro because after y- do yes, the intro that do yesterday, the intro. yesterday, no. yesterday, do yesterday, 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 Shit! I I I. I don't oh my god! Four. Is it five? Is it four? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, today is five. Are you sure? Today is five. Are you check. sure? I'm gonna yeah, check. check the YouTube. Check the YouTube. Check the YouTube. One. Yeah, th- today is five. 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 We, we do t- we do four already, boy. Yes. Are you sure? I I mean I'm looking at you. I just wanted to do the intro. Like, Actually, yeah, bro, he's correct. Look at another girl I went to school with here, bro. Partner, we're we talking about... Oh, what God! The fuck, what the fuck, boy? I, I tell you, everybody... All right, all right. Anyways, crack, bro. Brady, Brady, Let me do, go again do, now. Yeah, do the intro. Ready? Let's go again. One more time for the girl, then. Yo, 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 yo. What's good? It's your boy, DJ Rancho. Welcome to the Come Let Me Go podcast, episode five. Today, I'm joined alongside my two co-hosts. <laughs> Your co-host? Fuck off, eh? What do you mean? <laughs> you bro, ain't we, no... Bro, 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 we allow you to be part of this podcast, bro. <laughs> You know what? I give up. Nah, I'm messing, I'm messing. I you know, it's a boy batch, the bachelor, the girl and the spatula in the house. Right now, I feel venomous, you know? We have some topics to talk about today. Mm. You understand? Some, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm inside, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, people, it's your boy, the king of back and all the load of chaos in the world, the world, the S to the IMP to the LYE. Shut the fuck up, DJ Bradshaw. <laughs> all right. I will mute your fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> your freaking... Simply what overweight what? looking wearing Teletubby. Calm down. Simply what the what sound does S make? S. <laughs> <laughs> All right, already podcast done. The podcast done. Say, 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 say T T. How about fuck you? <laughs> How about sound of vowels A E I O U? Anyways, that we drinking Let champagne. Go, go. Have champagne. you made a sound effect yet? Yeah. I keep fucking batch. You sound like a you sound like a you sound like a chicken choking chicken. Yes, simple. I'm 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 hurt. Oh yeah, hold on. Yeah. So people, we wait, wait, wait. Before we start, cheers, cheers. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace. You know, you know, Rest in peace, Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, that's what. Hey, what's that? Yeah, yeah. You Today we're drinking champagne. Champagne. Because there's no other alcohol available. No, there is, but simply just being stuck with the black and white now. Leave my fucking black and white. Leave my black and white bottle for me, please. Before the end of the podcast, eh? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Tell me if I can hear this. Sipping on some syrup. That did not sound right, but okay, <laughs> we will allow it. I feel sorry for the headphone users. The what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, people, welcome to the uh, Come Let We Go podcast, episode five. And you are? Um, I already introduced myself. No, you did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. You did, I, it. You did I, it complete um, your introduction. No, because I want to keep fucking up the scene. Now you know how I feel. Me ain't tell you nothing. I love you. I love you, homie. Bro, bro I think you need, to pa- I, you, need, you need to calm down a bit. Calm the fuck allow, down, we bro. We allow you to be part of this podcast. Anyways, just said that. You know what I mean? Like, No, I'm just reminding you one more time. Yeah. 
Anyways, people, you're surely DJ Simply E. Batch, no, DJ Bradshaw. No, the full intro, please, and thank you. Come on, man. For, for the people who Isn't don't it? know the whole tag and thing. Anyways, so today we have a couple of topics. We also have a phone, our friend. You understand? The only one. Is it working today? Yeah, make sure I hook it. I connected it before. All right. You're going to even. Okay. Batch, you're on your dead weeds on your fucking head. Calm down. Oh, wow. So, first topic today, we're just going to do a catch up. So, yeah. I feel like it's, it's been, right. It's been, it's been, all you don't know, all you don't know, because all you're just going to see this as the fifth installation. But usually, we, we, we're supposed to be doing this a podcast a supposed week, to every Monday. But, you know, being the only person who just be on time at this podcast, <laughs> I just want to, I just want to let know, like, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on time. You know, so we do the podcast at Simply E's house. Yeah. We do the podcast 10 minutes away from Bradshaw's house. Yeah. I travel all the way. From South London. From behind hell. Behind God back. Past hell. Where is it from? Past um, heaven. Next up, but in back of Guav. Yeah, l- listen. And and these guys are just never on time, bro. These guys? These guys are never on time. These guys? Like, it's simply his like, own house. You know, they're on time for bookings. They're on time I for appointments. So. Speaking about bookings, but they're not on time <laughs> to be present at their own house for their own podcast. Like somebody tell me, how is this possible? Simply he lives where the podcast is being recorded, bro. And when film. I get here... Film, then. No, we do film it. Don't try that. Don't be that smart. You're trying to mess up. <laughs> he, lives, he lives at where the podcast is being recorded. Mm-hmm. And when I get here is when he sets up to do the podcast. Like, bro, set up now, dog. And oh, then, God. And then, and then, I fed up all your way. And then the phone of friend doesn't work. And, and all you know what I mean? No, no, no. But, but, but what I was saying is we yeah, need to do a little catch up. So mm-hmm. Simply E, we'll, we'll start with Simply E. Simply E, how's your two? Uh, <laughs> I can answer now. Fuck all I can answer. Oh, shit. My toe my, is, has, my, my is toe. healing my, progressively. Yay. My, can we get a clap? My toe. My yeah, toe. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. And then, because then, he's running out of excuses now. How's your knee? No? How's your knee? How's your knee? Because that's why your knee was hurting you. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's, it's fine. It's the knee is better. And the knee is way better. How is your wife? She just tried to call me and I just told her that we're doing the um the podcast. She's on her way home and she's gonna be joining us soon. Yeah, by the way, his wife's name is Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to press one of the plus for that one. Yeah. No, she, ac- she actually asked me um if if we podcast is live. So if she could listen. This guy is so antisocial, just on his phone while we're trying to record the That's podcast. what I'm saying. It's always something. And first he was hello. late in this his own I'm just going to drink my champagne. This is yeah, the C- Hello, now. I have to respond to the CEO of Trinity Bird Productions and Trinity Bird Sound. There we go now. Calm down. Anyway, so we have a couple of topics that we're going to discuss. Oh, actually, Bradshaw and and Batch are going to be bringing to the, for, to the forefront right now. What, so are we not allowed to catch so up? So we are right? not allowed to catch up to... Oh, sorry. They're going to catch up first. And that was very polite of you booping any people there. <laughs> don't give a fuck. <laughs> Right, okay. But, but how are you? To be honest with you, yeah, but, I am in a venomous fucking mood. You, you want me to play violin or something? I'm in a venomous mood, you know why? No. You see, you see, as as a male, as a man in this world, yeah? Mm-hmm. We just go through a lot now, boy. You know? Right. We just go through a lot. And because we are men, it's, it's, it's our culture, it's the culture of men to not really... You know, talk about, you know, most of the issues that we're, we're dealing with personally. And mm-hmm. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot, you know. Right. Because so it's, it's family life, mm-hmm. it's personal life. It's a lot, it's a lot of, a lot of different, a lot of different things I'm dealing with here. And, you know, today I just feel, I just feel venomous now, but like, or they don't know I might talk about some of them today, but it's not really our culture to talk the things them because. Wait, our as culture, a culture this is the podcast, or the come, let me go podcast so we could talk about certain things so the topics we have to cover has to deal with something if you have, if you feel strongly about something let's talk about it let's have a discussion when we finish catching up you know i'll see how i feel and, and we might we might tap into some of these topics you know what i mean might tap uh-huh. into some of the topics might tap yeah, into man. some of so these topics, topics go and get some clout yeah all right. so, so, so we'll deal with them in the realest way all right you good. know but let me hear from brad Shona, because right now i feel in a real venomous number and you know you know what i mean <laughs> yes. for the third time yes snake so let me hear from for yeah yeah, yeah not, not even not even not even not even a black mamba poisonous like me right now that's so racist then. but all right wow. yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways <Seriously>. wait what <laughs> you know? i'm kidding mix mix emotions about venom venom right Bradshaw, talk anyway to people so brad go ahead how 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 are how are thou 
Me there, man. Me there. Because you're so... Sh- you- I can't <laughs> complain. Right. We're still living life, man. We're working hard. we got a lot of things in the process. So we mm. just... I, I'm not going to lie. Brad, Brad Show's looking like he got that GPS smile on his face still. Oh, yeah. He's just here smiling from yeah. his ears, bro. <laughs> Okay. You know what GPS means? You know, you know what GPS good. No, no, leave it. Leave it. You, know, you know what GPS means? Oh, my of God. Of course. What does it mean? What does it mean? Ways. Ways. <laughs> ah. Well, you can call it that what, as well, what, you know, because wap? you can find your way. What? What is that? Wap. Oh, Ass. Wait. Zigzag and what? <laughs> what? E, e, e. What? Yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah, man, we're good, man. Yeah. We're good, Let, we're good, we're good. Yeah, good. So, go ahead. You say you wanted to re- do some recapping. Yeah, go ahead and recap now. Um, Freshers? Uni freshers, we've both been been there done that. Myself, <laughs> myself and Simply E, we've both been involved in freshers week. Simply E, how was your freshers, bro? Listen, Batch hold on. Came. For for those that don't know, freshers is basically a week of parties and events um, to do with university um, over here mm-hmm. in the UK, um, where basically everyone that's new to university or returning to university. Um, Go and have uh, parties. Uh, yeah, bring the ice type of vibes now by meet and yeah, meet, yeah, you know, yeah. Party, you know, but it's it's a nice safe space, you know, good security right. on campus from and it's put on by the student union. Yeah. Um so basically we be give, we've, we have been given the opportunity to 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 um provide the entertainment in the in the form of the DJs. Mm-hmm. Um you, well if you if you know the team, DJ Simply, myself, Bradshaw, Pusoka, Chanel. Yeah, we um we do UK Zest. So these DJs, they they're part of UK Zest, and through UK Zest, we got the opportunity to um provide the entertainment for the universities. And one thing I must say is that um the DJs in UK UK Zest are quite versatile. Like the type of music <laughs> and 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 the type of entertainment they provide they provide is beyond my my like my my comfort zone like like the other day for simply East booking it was a asian night yeah. which was like let me talk about that now bangladeshi all right tamil yeah so simply you talked because right. some genres yeah. i probably even know that all you right. played so them. so the the asian night that i did right now for a lot of people that don't know in india, india is, a, is a vast when they say asian we're talking about uh india India and Pakistan, all these places, right? And there's a, it, it, there's so many languages within that 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 whole. Teach us, sensei. Teach us. <laughs> Fuck off, <laughs> you know. So there's Tamil, the, Tamil, Gujarati. Then they have the Punjabi from Punjab, um, and then there's the oh, which one is it? Not Urdu. Is it Urdu? Yeah, all these different languages that comprises of this this land of India, and I had to, I literally had to select the right type of music for the right type of crowd. And so I, I got so frustrated because some of these students keep coming up, about five, six, seven of them. Can, and they, can you play this? Can and they want that? me to play everything. Until, until I DJs hate, yeah? Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I literally had to cuss a couple of them. I said, listen, leave me a fucking loan. Oh. Right? Batch came. Batch saw the, Batch saw the vexness in my face. He said, one by and I, I told him what exact, exactly what happened. Batch called the security. Security stand up right by the DJ booth. But these fuckers, so they feel they're so smart. They're coming in front of the DJ booth and flashing their phone, so and just passing. That is <laughs> passing, that's passing. the one thing that, that that I've seen a lot now in in universities. Yeah, it's crazy. But batch, and they need to send me those videos that they recorded. Eh? Batch recorded yeah, a couple true. of videos. People screaming with these songs that are played. And batch and always like, fucking hell, what? Yeah, I was, I was, I was amazed. Batch man. was like. E, you know, um, and I told him, I said, watch this, eh? When I play that song and everybody started to scream. Batch was like, now I got a question. Hey, they start patting the dog and screaming like Bubba. <laughs> now, Simply, I have a question. So if you don't know, Simply is one of the, right, let me get this right. One of the top rated Chutney Soka DJs in the world? Yep. Yeah. If not the. One of, one the, of the, one of, no, no, not top rated. Yeah, top rated, yes. but One the, of the top rated. The biggest. One of the biggest Chutney, Chutney Soka DJs there in the world. There we go. There we go. Um, So. My question for you is, is you didn't play Chutney Soka? None. Right? None. So how was it? Because again, when Batch first was told about needing a DJ to play an Asian night, mm-hmm. our sort of instant thought would to be, well, Simply well, who, do you, who, who, who else we could argue? Who, who yeah. else? Because Simply well, is be known for X, Y, and Z. I mean, mm-hmm. if, if, if Simply said to me, he couldn't do it, I would have be like, like, scratch his brain. But... 
I would have think to probably ask um, Styles UK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I big, up, I, big up the DJ yeah, Styles, Styles UK. Styles. You don't know. And I, w- I was even thinking maybe, um, what is his name? Romeo? Romeo, yeah, Romeo. Um, li- I was thinking Romeo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, Romeo, but then yeah. when I really think about it, I say to myself, as much as I read <laughs> Romeo and, and <laughs> Styles. I was crutching in the back of Yeah, crutching in Yeah, okay. Yeah, I as much as I, as I read Romeo and Styles. I mean, I've never really heard Romeo play much, but I yeah. know Styles. How many is... champagne, please? Oh, go ahead. All done? No, it's a little drink, see. One drink there. Yeah. I know, I, I know I, I've, I've never heard Romeo play much, but I know mm-hmm. he can play. I've heard Styles play, and I know Styles is well, you know. Um, well versed. Yeah, well versed in, 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 in the genres. Mm-hmm. But who but else, just, let, really? let, me, let me just say, say this here. The reason why, <clears throat> simply for me, like I know, I know him on a personal level as a brethren, as a mentor, as a father figure, as a friend. Mm-hmm. You understand, and it's somebody that I go to for guidance in, in 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 many aspects of my life. You know, as as the relationship that me and Simply e have, Simply and I have. Mm. Um, Simply E is a half Venezuelan, half Trinidadian. Well, yeah, kind of, yeah. 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 I was right expecting there. him to say free yeah. halves there. Yeah. Tell me if I'm right, mm. right, right there. Trinidadian. I have, I have, I have Ven- Venez- uh, Venezuelan blood because so through my mom. Sp- he can speak Spanish. I can speak Spanish. Like, yeah. Like, 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 yeah. He has, he's, he's Trinidadian. Uh, Trini, if yeah. you want to call Trinidadian, Trinidadian, because Trinidadian is really African because we're black people. Who oh my God. Let me, let's let's not go. Come on now, man. We keep it in one on Yeah, we'll go on. Yeah, yeah. so he's African. And he when you when look at simply E, he's also a Rasta man. Mm-hmm. You understand? So when you look at this Rasta, who is a black man, you can't really tell he's a Guala Guala because he, uh, unless Yo. you tell you, you wouldn't know. So, yeah? so well, hold on, hold on, hold on, Brady. No, no, mm-hmm. I was just looking at this right here on the wall, a newspaper. Yeah, the Rasta Afro Trini Indian Rasta DJ. Afro like Trini Indian DJ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you look at simply, <coughs> you will think you should add that to your intro. You will, yeah, you will think here yeah, that this man is a reggae DJ, and if he say well I'm from Trinidad, they automatically gonna think well yeah he just plays soca. Mm-hmm. But simply, he is a chutney, a, a, a East a Indian, a East Indian, legendary, living legendary, not just a DJ, producer, radio host, voice talent, everything, all of the, all, all of the above. So even these students, when they look at, I'm there with him, and mm-hmm. they're looking at this man, and afterwards, they were, I'm pretty sure they were saying, that guy sure can't play for a black guy. Yeah, because he really shall long yeah, place. Like they, they what, don't judge a book by its cover. They gave him a standing over. Well, everybody was standing up. I, no, actually, no, well, no, no, no. But when he played, when the party done, everybody's literally they were clapping. Up, they, 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 clap, they were clapping, no, and they walked up like like everyone stopped and was like giving him a round of applause because they couldn't believe what they were experiencing. And I think it's also appreciation for the fact that without knowing, simply he spent a lot of time learning the music that he was going to play. No, no so basically, he found out on the Tuesday. No, yeah, you mm-hmm. found out on the Tuesday night that he was playing. No, no, yeah, you found out on, on the, the Friday. No, you found out on the Monday that he was gonna play on the Friday. That you were playing on. No, no, you found out on the Tuesday, Tuesday that you were playing on the Friday. Yeah, yeah. And on on, on but, when you were tired that night, so you didn't really get much yeah, done. Yeah, but I had so to then, literally yeah. prepare because. When you dealing with Asian night? Wednesday, you found out on a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, you found so out Wednesday that he's playing Friday, and he actually spent. He went to work, do his whole nine to five, mm-hmm. and then he, he, he <coughs> nine, spent the nine whole six. Of, nine to six, mm-hmm. and then he he did his whole spend the whole night just researching the genres. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie to you. See, when you're a, when you're a, a top quality DJ, the the understanding of the music is one thing, and I, mm-hmm. I know I know I'm not a DJ, but I I know this. Mm-hmm. Understanding what to play and when is one thing, but being able to play yeah. is the most important thing. <coughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Because simply he and and he didn't know what what decks to expect that was there. So oh, listen. He couldn't even connect up properly. You know what I mean? So but, I literally like, thank God that I walk with my what do you call this the X, X uh, where it says uh, the SP two the SP two. Yeah, the SP2. I, I walk with the SP2 just in case. Just in case. I can't remember. Boy. That way you're young. That yeah, way you can P, help me out. You walk with the P2. And you know what? I'm surprised, actually, you didn't take the S9. Why would I take the S9 to a club? To play with your own shit? Not to be taken literally, guys. No, I, right. I, I don't know. Uh, what I've experienced, a lot of DJs that have the S9, 
they prefer uh, a S9 setup over a. Who was no, it no, the no. other day who didn't no. know how to play with spades <laughs> with spades controller? Who was it? Someone was playing and they didn't know how to play with spades controller, and they were like, "Oh, I, 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 I. no!" It, uh, vibes was playing, but but vibes and natural don't like the spades controller. That's why. No, Sp- I I. That, Spade no, has Spade, uh, Spade has the Rev Seven. I don't like the Rev Seven either, but I could play. I could but use yeah, same, the Rev Seven. Same, same. You know, but the thing is, because with me the Rev Seven is kind of limited. But on that night when I went to, to that um university that Asian night, uh, I had a pair of the CDG three thousands. Two thousands. Two thousands. Two thousands. I could not connect for hell. I could not connect up to it for hell. And a DJM we tried. Yeah. So yeah. So what I, the DGM nine hundred Nexus two. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah. But, um, I just m- connect connected, make may, may, may do it whatever wh- whatever they had, and I literally played music using my laptop and the uh, the SP two, mm-hmm. and it and it worked. Anyways, I think we're going off on a tangent though because this is just a, a small recap. But uh, all in all, the, the the Asian night was was slamming. Everybody enjoyed itself. I got a round of applause at the end of the night. Yeah. Batch have videos to prove, on which we'll send to me and we'll post it up. Anyways, that's me. Well, maybe. Right, yeah, good. It Since was it was it was a brilliant night. And um on the well catch the mass, Wednesday. I catch master find the fucking place though, but the first, it's fine. The first Wednesday, Brady did an hour just to show them what he can do. Mm-hmm. And after that, I think I think it's like peak for any DJ that's there because like simply locked down the Asian nights and, and Brady is basically locked down the wavy Wednesdays now because I've I went there with Brady for the the wavy Wednesday mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Just like how simply he murdered her, that, 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 that Asian night, Brady demolished that with you Wednesday. It's like people don't even understand, like, they don't understand how to mm. cope with, with what was, was, was taking place. Like, Brady, Brady is only, he's a young DJ, mm-hmm. he's new, he's been mentored by some great, great DJs. You probably mentioned some of their names, but Brady is one of the most talented young DJs on the scene. Mm-hmm. And I'm I feel privileged to witness the greatness of Simply E mm-hmm. and the greatness of DJ Bradshaw. And between the two of them, like I I I really don't I like I could add some names there. I could add DJ Spade in there. You know, um mm-hmm. there's some legendary ones that you know big up them, them as well. Right. You know, but like these DJs that we have in UK is us, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Talented, I, talented. I will, yeah, I will continue battling forward for you guys, like trying to find avenues for for us as a team, you know. And you know, I wanna I wanna go off on a tangent a little bit. You see, a lot of people don't know about building. A lot of people just like to come and like reap the benefits, you know what I mean? But one mm. thing I really appreciate with DJ Simply E, Bradshaw, DJ Spade. When Bradshaw already. Yeah, boots. What? You know? <laughs> nah, 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 the guy Brady, he, um, he kudos though, because it's like, they, they understand what I'm trying to do, mm. and they understand what building is as well, like the two of you understand what building is, a lot of people don't understand what building is, and we, we've, we've built something, we've, we've, we're almost at a year of UKSS, mm-hmm. and we've not branched on, branched off from just putting on an event to... I'm not just putting on talent and giving them the platform, mm. but we're also giving these 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 people bookings where they could go elsewhere and make their own money and and you know like it's it's a privilege for me to be part of it to see the growth of it. You know what I mean? Like we right. we now have DJs from far and wide, east, west, north, and south London, gravitating towards UK Zest, and I think it's our duty as a team to to just create platforms and create great things that these people could could have something to to look back at mm. in years to come and say like yo i had the the chance to to work with simple e to work with bradshaw and and even to find themselves in places where people could be looking up to them as well as saying yeah mm. we want to be part of ukss too because these guys were there and we see what what fruited bore for them you know what i mean you don't yeah, know. For them. yeah man big up you don't know right i got a topic right we have we always have a topic oh yeah i'm gonna well, say well, I, do, I just i just thought about you, you want to talk about food or yes, no, go ahead go ahead let me hear what is bradshaw so, Unity. Oh, so no without, without further ado, guys, now after that, that nice long recap, we're going to get into our topic at hand, finally. Which one is the first topic? I don't know. You said you had Venom today. You had Venom now, listen, today. No, no. I, go, I go one first. I'll make sure it's not boring. Eh? No, no, no. Go. No, make no, sure it's no. very argumentative because you know oh, I like to yeah, argue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me hear you. <laughs> Unity within 
the scene of DJs. For example, um, big up. Uh, shall we name? Shall we big name? Up who? Big up um, a shot of soca. Um, big up DJ D. Basically, that there, there was a um, a video clip that people were reposting this past week. Oh yeah, um, I seen I seen I seen parts of it. Uh, re- regarding a podcast, a different podcast that um, one of the DJs, DJ D, in the scene, big up DJ D, um, legend still, was part of, and he was talking about unity within the scene and mm-hmm. promoters booking the same DJs, promoters booking what was it? Promoters booking the same DJs. Wait, if I send you the video, you can play the clip on the podcast, right? Yeah, send 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 me send me the video. No, so yeah, so I just want to see what you guys are thinking regarding see or or hear. Or th- uh, mm-hmm. uh, you want to get people's views on it? Wait, 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 wait. You know what I mean. Let, let me just talk about it and, and 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 see see what people think. You know, because how long is the clip though? Oh, it's like twenty seconds. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so you're sending it on what WhatsApp? Yeah. All right, so I'm waiting on WhatsApp. So people, DJ Bradshaw sending everything for me on WhatsApp. So yeah, me, are we yet? This one. Yeah. This, this one. One. I don't know. All right. So you're talking about unity. But you have something else to talk about too. We will deal with it. I think the other we topic a, we we talk when anything pertaining to you know what no much more about. Hey, listen, and it, it's weird. All right, so let, let's see if this works. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, the, it's like you can't keep screaming unity, and all I'm seeing is everyone separating each other. There's so many lineups, like these bougie lineups, like, and everyone's it's all the same bill. I don't get me how do you, how do you expect the scene to elevate if you can't? You're gonna make me bug, don't make how me bug do you, at. No, how do you expect the scene to 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 grow if you have all of these talented DJs? But then I'm not playing at your party, six, man. Yeah, but there's the same, same six, man. six man, and then there's the month same in, month out. and then it's, it's and then it's, it's it's always internationals that you don't wanna pay the big money for. That's, do you know how much time and no? Do you know how much time and effort? I'm trying like, this, so hard. Do you know how much time and effort we put into this DJ in here? Like going Uber, doing like taking Uber, taking cab, taking this, taking that, taking train. Like it's a struggle for you to come and then put someone on that's an international DJ that can't even play for shit, and you know they can't play for shit. But because they got a name, like it, it's 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 ah uh, yeah, mm. they've got a name. We want to pay them however much, and then yeah, we're just gonna pay this DJ one fifty and tell them that we can't, we don't make enough. Are you taking the piss? I was not born yesterday. I'm a promoter, mm. so I, I've I've done three events. I've done three events. Mm. I currently have two. Yeah, you can't tell me how much this, that, and the other costs, and then tell me that you only have this much left. And then you want to give me this much? How does that make sense? Mm. But then that person that came from abroad can 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 go home with a bag in their pocket. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what happened to that bag? That so what? You couldn't split that between the DJs that are here. Yeah. Hey. Like only charging a mere one fifty two hey. bills. <laughs> you have to realize, like, you can't keep screaming unity. Yeah. Hey. Hey. So so yeah, hey. it's crazy. Hey. hey. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me see. Let me see if we could get. DJ D on, Hold on. on the let, line. Let me Hold let me let me um let me see if I can get because you tell me. Just when we're trying to do that, I've seen a lot of I just went through the comments. A lot of DJs are saying this is why private bookings is the way to go. Because like in terms of private bookings, you don't really have a DJ that's like a guaranteed DJ to get private bookings. Which mm. is it's true. Because private bookings, I love my private bookings, man. Right. Weddings, christenings, birthday parties, wakes, funerals, you know, everything like that. Because you often get to play something different that you mm-hmm. don't get to play at, I don't know, uh, uh, an event. But, mm-hmm. but, as an artist, what do you think? So here I, was- think, I think he's on to something. I think he's on to a key issue that's happening here in the UK. Um, it probably happens in every local scene where the local get overlooked for internationals. Is 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 something that we have to fight but we can't i mean every promoter know what their prerogative is you know what i mean mm-hmm. you know every promoter know what they want for the event um i mean like we put on events UKZS. we know what we want for an event um when the initial concept is thought of we know what we want but we 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 always consider local like we 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 push local we support local we all about local mm-hmm. you know and if we decide that we want to put on an international yeah but we we we, we are about local we all about local. It's about local here. Right. You get me? Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Yo, D- I think I think it's because ah, here D- we go. Right. Yo, DJ D. DJ D. Good evening. Yo. 
Hey, yeah, 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 we can yeah. hear you. Yeah, so right, right, so right. so D, it's it's Batch Brad Show and Simply E here. We're we're here. We okay. you're live on the podcast with us. Yeah. Um. Okay. We were we were just discussing the the viral video from Ashata Soka, where you were discussing Unity okay. and and um the other like the way promoters deal with the local, the way they deal with the international, and and what you think about it. So we just wanted to touch on it a little bit and hear a little bit more from 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 what you had to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. What did you what did you want to know? Um. Well, well, we wanted to say that we 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 are we here at, at um at UKZ, you know, we we all about the local, we all about pushing the local. We 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 fully support what you say, you know. And I mean, we just saw a short clip, you know. If you could just sum up exactly what you were trying to say, mm-hmm. you know, in in the um, video clip, you know what I mean. And follow um, follow with clarity. Like, uh, yeah, it was basically talking about like. The promoters are just not serious to get. Like they're trying to like just make the DJs do whatever, get their money, mm. and then and whatever. That's what it feels like because a lot of the a lot of the scene is is based off like hype. If you get what I mean, right? So if your party's the hype, you've got the DJs and stuff. You're not really trying to. I don't know, like give your DJs what they're worth. The local, the local DJs. What they were. Yeah, local DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, but this, but DJ D, this is the discu- this is DJ simply E here. So with the the this that discussion, it also applies. Like I've I've had this this discussion many times with Batch where it comes to not just DJ DJs but also to the UK artists where a promoter will rather spend a big amount of money on bringing a foreign artist than uh, than to help promote the uk artists as well to be on the same stage full out and and you know just ram out and not just five six foreign artists let's say you have one foreign artist and the rest of the artists performing or the supporting cast will be local uk artists how do you feel about that um i feel the same way to be honest because either way like we're all putting in work here in the uk like we're trying to make a uk soccer scene mm-hmm. like we're not trying to impress anyone to be like part of anyone else like across the world like we have our own scene here mm-hmm. we can build it up why not why are we putting money in other people's pockets and turning our backs on people that are here because people are saying oh yeah like we're, we're, we're supporting the artists we're doing this we're doing that like but when it comes to being real no one's being real with each other do you get it like you can do the face-to-face thing with someone and then lie right in their face and then the next thing you know the lineup is full of this, that, and the other. And then when you contact them, it's just like, oh, yeah, we didn't have a budget or we don't have space. Or you can run up and jump on. What is that? Exactly. Same old story every that don't time. That not make no sense. Exactly. And I agree with you because, you know what, I always say that mo- half of these people, they have a... a the, I call it, they, they like to give you prayers. And I always say, save the prayers to the, for the Bible. You understand? Be real with yeah, me. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, be real with me. Let yeah, me know. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But that point that you made was a really wicked point, and I loved it. And that's why we decided that we wanted to give you a, uh, to call you yeah. immediately and just he- help uh, have you share your views on that. Yeah, I I want I want to say something. Yeah, no, me. I appreciate it. I want to say something from the artist point of view. Like, I I know that there's some really good artists here in the UK, and I mean there's some serious ones who take who take their work on a professional level. You get me and they do deserve their dues. Like, there's something called a, a rider. You know, um, I've heard some people mm-hmm. from Trinidad calling it podium. So this is a... Trinidad. Mm, yeah, th- yeah. This is a there's, bad point. Yeah, there's some called a rider, right? Mm. And there's there's many times I've, I've went to places to perform myself as an artist. And and when I give them my rider, I mean, my chest not too high because I, I, you have to know where you're at in your career as well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And w- when I give them my rider, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you turn up and there's not even water available, you know what I mean? So so it's like, I, I listened to Bungie Garland, he did an interview years ago and he said that a young artist is supposed to know their worth. And it's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of pull back from releasing music and from, you know, really seeking pr- um, performances with my management team. Because the, the, the promoters here in the UK do not respect the local artists to a certain extent. There, there are some that do. You know, so I must big up people like the Mingle team who always look out for look out for the local artists and, and put us on. 
You know, mm. I know I know that other promoters do as well, but I can only speak for, from 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 who I've experienced it from. You know what I mean? The Mingo team always look after people properly. Right. You know, mm -hmm. um, I feel like until as as a scene or as as a provider of um entertainment, mm -hmm. if we all don't as a collective have a, that collective mind of professionalism mm -hmm. and demand what we want. And if it is that these promoters don't want to give us what we want, remember, we're on the ground, you know, D. So, yeah. We're the people who are on the ground. So, for example, with, with, with promotions like Mass Must Play, with promotions like, um, what's Terrence and Lex's one name? Get Twisted. And with promotions like UKZS, we're, we're on the ground. We're the local guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we, we, we're in a position where we have to now build for ourselves. Because if we don't take it into mm -hmm. our own hands here yeah, and work work diligently to build for us, mm -hmm. we're just going to be consumers. We're, so, just, we're just going to be, um, uh, we, we're going to be a product that they, that they consume. But if, so, we, if, we, if we're the one that's, that's creating the platforms, right. we're in the position to, so that when I'm ready to book Mersey, Taradan, um, who, whoever it may be, I'm in the position where, um, Chanel Shana, Andrew, I, I'm in, and Tajia, I'm in, I'm in the, posi I'm in the position where, I can look after them properly. Right. I so, can so, set a so standard. D, so, D, so, so with all of that said, what you being at the forefront of, of, of this, we want to know what suggestions, and be as blatant as you can, what suggestions do you have, what advice do you have moving forward so that we can help solve this crisis that we're experiencing, yeah, for, for want of a better term, mm -hmm. here in the UK? To be honest, it's all down to respect. That's what I think. So you, I don't feel like mm -hmm. I, I don't feel like it's anything else. I feel like because as 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 um, Batch said, the, the UK artists are like making wicked tunes, but people aren't playing their tunes. You get Sunshine and the Divas had a tune called Slack. That song did have no traction from anyone in the UK. Mm. And why is that? That song was, it was one of their, 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 their best songs to hit the road and they was pushing it. Why is no one else behind it? Wow. So, so... Uh, as, soon it, as, it went into, as soon as it came out, it went into my mix. Mm -hmm. Like, so, you've got to make sure, like, you help. Sure. So, D, I think on the same podcast... Let them know who you are, please. Oh, yeah, it's Bradshaw here, by the way. Um, so... Yeah. Similar to, I think there was another part in the podcast where you guys were talking about playing music, not just from Trinidad, Barbados, Grenada, but playing music from the islands of like St. Kitts and Antigua and places like that, right? That's the same podcast, yeah? yeah. So, mm -hmm. you think that the DJs over here, just like they could be playing, or, or worldwide DJs should be playing more music from those other islands... They need to tap in more to the UK artists even more than they are doing already. Because of course. The general consensus that I've got is that unless you're uh, unless the UK artists tune is gaining global traction, it's not gonna gain UK traction. Being real, I think what it is is that I don't feel like the UK DJs feel like the music is good enough. Because that's why they're not playing it. Let's mm. be real. Like, if we're having this conversation now, mm -hmm. like, being real, they probably don't feel like the music is good enough. I hear that. And that's, 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 that's plain straight. Because if, it, if, 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 if a lyrical wasn't good, would you feel like someone would play it? Even True. if it's lyrical. Yeah, but no, then, you're not going to play it. Yeah, but then, but then D, to counteract the, the, that. So what can we do to ensure that people will know that it's good? What can we do? Because... We can only we and you know you know this being a DJ, especially playing new tracks. I'm a DJ as well. Playing new tracks can be a double-edged sword. Open, close, inverted commas. But we as DJs, of course, what can we do to ensure that everyone knows and notices that it's a good track? Uh, we would have to give feedback to the the, the artists, but as DJs, like being real, what the DJs would have, to, what actually what the the artists would have to do. Mm -hmm. If you feel like the scene as the UK is not pushing and you want to, like, instead of, like, building up all of this, like, let's be real, it's anger. Because it would be, it would anger me if I was an artist and I wasn't getting where I should be and I think I should be mm -hmm. with the help of my whole, my, my UK soccer scene. Right. Uh, so, so, like, mm -hmm. I would, I would be upset. Right. We so, are, we are upset, bro. 
um it's one of the ones where of course i feel like of course i feel like you see being a dj yeah when, whenever whenever someone decides hey i'm gonna be a dj yeah that dj has a duty for f- to, to, to to procure his 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 um his local if you if you if, if i mean like with, the, you with, live up the road within, for me. within reason within reason within reason because obviously you, 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 you ain't gonna go play asuka samuel because that is garbage everybody will tell you that exactly so, you uh, okay, so this, but, this but if, mm-hmm. if the music is of 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 of, of, of a good enough quality mm-hmm. i feel like it's the duty of the local djs to help the scene to grow and and if we could have not just one bottle overhead if we could have a slack if we could have a no other lover if we could have um, but then bro, um, it comes come back down to respect yeah, right if the, D- if the dj if the, if the dj respects you enough mm. then he's gonna come up to you so, it depends how you approach said dj you mm-hmm. know what i mean like and what relationship you have with them if you have a but, good relationship with a certain dj mm-hmm. approach them like That's if mad. you know you if you know you don't have a, a certain like relationship with a certain dj mm-hmm. don't go to them because you're gonna expect that dj oh yeah they got hype they got this, they got that. Right. They're gonna turn to me and be like, "Oh yeah, they can make this." No, it's not gonna happen like that. Mm-hmm. You just have to make sure you know, even if it's like someone next to you that you never know, they could think, "Oh yeah, you know what? You change this, change that. Like mm-hmm. add this, add that. Like it's little small things. Like this, it's and, not always just yeah, like." And this is what I was going to ask kind of, you, yeah. D. This is just mm-hmm. what I was going to ask you. Now, a lot of DJs, and I've seen it throughout my career, that where a lot of people would be afraid to give artists constructive criticism to better themselves. That's one. Two, when you do give an artist constructive criticism, they will view it as though you're trying to tell them the song is shit. Facts. You understand? So how do we jump over that hurdle to ensure that everyone's quality of music is to the standards for every single UK DJ or DJ I, to play? No, no, listen. Let him, let him, let him respond. Let him respond. Yeah. It's not that it's never possible because you see that you have the attitude of it's not possible because you've gone to certain DJs and you've approached them. That's mm-hmm. your attitude. That's your how you're feeling. Mm-hmm. Anyone could be like, okay, they could like you could you could go to anyone, like I said, any other DJ that has respect for you. Mm-hmm. Make sure you go before you go to them, don't go how you approach everyone else, how you approach the first, third and first, second and third DJ. Mm-hmm. Approach it like he was going to the first DJ with a clear mind and a, and a, and a, and a good energy. Mm-hmm. Because else. sometimes if you're going with someone, you might go in there, oh yeah, this person didn't do something or whatever. Don't, don't, don't do that. Come and think about what you're going with and what your goal is. If your goal is to make that song bang and, and blow or whatever, go to that DJ and explain to them what, does that, what the problem is. Like, you know, what do you think it is? You, like, is there anything that you need to add? Whatever. You know, D... You see that that that's that's a whole other thing right there because I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. This this is how deep it is. We're in a music industry, right? You yourself, you're a professional DJ. I know that you're one of a very high standard. I've listened to you play on many occasions, right? But that that's you. A lot of DJs here, they're people who play music. They don't they're not signed up for PRS, they're not pushing to be on radio, they're not um actively playing for an artist, they're not touring, they and, and they're part of a clique of people who, like, 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 like you said, it's the same group of people that play for all these events all the time. There's, so there's, no, there's, there's not a circuit where the best DJs get to play, the most talented DJs get to play. I've been at events where the warm-up DJ, I could probably give my mom a Dex to go play. I've been at events where the main <coughs> DJ didn't read the crowd right and people were looking, at, look, looking up at them like, what the hell is going on? Mm. I've been to events where all type of madness is going on. And I feel like, like, like you see me, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a real person. I, I, I'm, a, I'm very outspoken as well as everybody knows. If people don't like what I say, they usually have a problem with me, but I do not care because they don't, none of the three Fs me. Mm-hmm. You understand? So it's one of the ones where, like, you will go to people, you'll give them your music, but what are they doing with it? They're not even signed up to PRS, bro. No, no, but... They, but you know is, what I mean? But like, they're not on radio. They're, they're not doing nothing for your songs other than, like, like... I mean, I appreciate the people who are not doing nothing, but they just still take the time to play my music. I appreciate right. that. So, so then, but if we're in a music industry and mm. we're trying to get somewhere, <clears throat> like when you when you look at the UK soca scene, yeah, the 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 banker is the, like when I say the banker, I mean like the big money is being a promoter. That's that's the head of that's the top that's the top pinnacle of the soca scene. When you look at all the other genres, there's there's awards that you could win, bro. Bro, if you look at the UK Soka Monarch, bro, 
the one the, the EUK Soka Monarch, bro, garbage. You're like, where well, you win like 50 pounds or 500 pounds. Like, there's that when you look at the Soka scene here, there's no structure, there's no where, like, there's no. You have yeah, to but, go, or you have to try to branch out onto other genres. Yeah, but this, yeah? this is the question. Let me, let, that's what I'm saying. Like mm. for for you to see, all right. Then, what when I when I look at soca music today he, as a UK soca artist, UK based soca artist, yeah. When you ask me what is success, what do I consider success? What is it getting all the DJs to play my song when I don't get no revenue from that because they're not signed up for PRS? Is but I go and start sing trap, bro. You know what I mean? Because the, even the soca scene, the structure is you might as well just start promoting your own dance. Yeah, because that's the only way you're gonna make money. So, here. so Batch, again, this 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 is the question that I pose now to overstep that hurdle. Well, the hur- what do the, we do to overstep now, the hurdle? The, is, now is, listen, is, is to become a creator. So that's why we created UK Zest. Mm-hmm. That's why when I sat with with Terra and Mersey and I spoke to them about putting on their own event. And we all agree that it's the best thing to do. And look what happened. They done that. We all done that. And we're creating for ourselves now. Right, good. And this, so, is, this is one of my main issues with the UK soccer scene. When you look at it, the whole carnival period, the people that make money from costumes, the people that make money from events, that money goes and lines their pocket to feed their families, whatever, whatever. Kudos to them. But nothing goes back into the art form. The art form needs funding. The art form needs funding for us to take it to another level. Right. And so, unless, mm. unless we have let's say at the end of the year or the beginning of a year or every summer whatever has some competition that puts some serious money mm. in a DJ's pocket in an artist's pocket something that people could aim for even an award ceremony where you could win a flipping whatever award like what's the car, point like, bro? right yeah but so, so again bro, so bro so come on like in the Caribbean where people are suffering is giving people cars and million dollars and all kind of madness I've performed in Soka Monarch here and if you win you get 300 pounds bro I get 300 pounds for performing at any any outside field event or or, or, or carnival themed event. So how could the Soka Monarch pay me 350 pounds? Right. So again, so it, dead, oh, it, again, so DJ D again, it's about respect. So if they don't respect you as an artist, it have no money to for them to respect young. Yeah, but then, anyway. but then why? Why? Because. People do not respect the art for right. So they D, see it as a hurry come up and a run through. Right. So D, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, sorry, sorry. Give me one second, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so... Do, so Jesus. Yeah, so... It's not making sense, so... It's what? not Let making sense. Something. Let me tell you something, my friend. Anyways. Anyway, my, you know... D- um, go ahead, he's the, 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 the. Yeah, so D, do, so do um, you... I, f- mm-hmm. I, I kind of... I can agree with Batch, but with Batch, it's a whole. That's a whole different conversation. That's a whole deeper like mm. thing for the DJs, in a sense, because you're talking about more like funding. You're talking about like more like like everything else. Mm-hmm. That's a whole different story. Uh, for D- us as DJs and artists to work together, for us to get the music out, mm-hmm. is a whole conversation that we're having now. Which I said. It would be easier if, if artists just, you know, approach DJs that they know they're comfortable with and they know that they can shoot out their music. Right. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if you need it improving, speak to them. Yeah, that's it. That's 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 that's, that's, that's basically it. Yeah. Like that's the that's the start. You can't you can't you can't you can't have nothing else to do. You can't you can't keep complaining about this, you can't complain about that, because you're just gonna get yourself angry and, and worked up and it don't make no sense because you're not gonna progress. So if you progress with a clean heart, mm-hmm. then you work it better. Facts. They don't know. Remember, you got bad energy. Like, no matter how much you say you have good energy and stuff, that bad energy is because of what you're thinking or how you're feeling. So that is bad energy in itself. Mm-hmm. So literally, just come up, have a time to yourself, whatever. Before you approach that person or whoever, just take time and go with it. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. So again, and that- it all stems from the, the, that word that you use, respect. I think... I think what I've noticed is that a lot of a lot of people, DJs slash promoters, that have they have no respect for artists in the UK, and that's my one of my biggest peeves as a DJ for the past thirty seven years, and I've noticed that a lot of people have no respect whatsoever for, for UK I've, artists. I've overheard some of the conversations, bro, and you wouldn't believe how some promoters and DJs talk about the the local the local artists. Bro. Yeah, you wouldn't believe. It's the I've same. overheard conversations with my own air. No, but it's the same thing like what happens in Trinidad. Like, cause D, I'm from Trinidad, as you could clearly hear, right? I'm from Trinidad. Yeah. So, so now it's the same thing 
as if an artist in Trinidad, they'll be they'll be doing work, they'll be doing work, they'll be putting out songs, putting out songs. Nobody on radio will play the songs. They send the songs to, for DJs. Um, I'm very I'm 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 lucky enough to be in both the Soka Arena and the Chutney Soka Arena. And I will I will play guys' songs and all of that, but they will never uh, they will never make it to radio. And then when the person busts foreign, that's when they want to claim them and say, "Oh, this is one of our very own." You know what I mean? And I have a yeah. I have a very big I have a huge issue with that because from the get go you didn't support them, but only when they make it big that's when you want to claim them. And this is the same thing with the UK artists. So the UK UK artists they. They they trying their best here in the UK. No one taking them on. As soon as they make it in, in the Caribbean or in or the songs playing on radio uh, in they Trinidad. Make, they become one of us. Yeah, then they make oh oh yeah, our, our very own from the UK making it in Trinidad or making it in Grenada or making it in, in, in Barbados. But they play is the same song they've been trying to, to push for the past two years. That you know here. And they come back now to the UK, and now oh, all of a sudden it's a big thing, you know. And I hate that bandwagoners. Yeah. You understand? So, but D, I, I have to say thank you, my brother, because you, what you said, is such a valid point, and it's something that people needed to hear, real as it is. Who don't like it, they can fuck off. Simple. That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah, simple. Yeah, you know what I mean. Simple, yeah. Yeah. I, I appreciate. I, I appreciate. Yeah, um, yeah, DJ, D, big up yourself. D, you don't know every thank time. Thank you so much, my brother. Yeah, big up, guys, man. Thank you. Guys. Blessings, man. Thank Blessings. You. Have a great one, Blessings, man. man. Have a nice night. Yeah, don't Have know. a good night. Guys. All right, all right. Bye, bye. Bless. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> hey yo. So, DJ, <laughs> hey, look tired, boy. Look at us, man. Hey. DJ D, thank you so much, my brother. Bring up yourself. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey, simply, did you ba- just see that? Batch just, just <laughs> batch, listen, listen. Batch just break your ass. If, 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 oh, I, if, that. if I have a little bit of drop C in my blood, you know what I mean? Like, I nah. just love me, nah, nah, but, but D, <laughs> D, 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 child, D, like, made to, D made total sense. Yeah, and for true. And I like true. that. He's a very intelligent fellow. Yeah, you know, yeah no, no, listen. And, and, and it, it, Exactly what it is he said is what Batch, you know me and you had this conversation I simply, many a time. Simply, you know what's mad? What is that? Is is exactly what he's saying. Mm-hmm. It resonates with me because I, you, because I you is the one of the DJ that don't play batch music. No, no, he, he, so he was saying <laughs> he was saying no fully, fully, fully. Listen, it's it's easy, it's easy to overlook. Mm. Now now I'm Batch's DJ, right? That don't play music. I, this is what I'm saying. So for me, what, what, what are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? I said I'm a DJ. And he said I don't play your music. I oh. do, but just not everywhere. Now for me, wow. No, no. Because here what I'm saying. For my thought process is weird. It's, it's hi. My name is Batch, and I'm currently looking for a DJ. If you want to <laughs> <listen tonight. laughs> it's 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 easy to like overlook, and I don't know why it is, but it's easy to overlook. Like for example, even when I go into my Serato, for some reason, the, these UK artists' music is not just in my generic crates. Like, Why? Like, All right. Th- th- All right. This let is me, what let I'm me, saying let me, to you. Let me show you some DJ Bradshaw. I don't Bradshaw. know. Let me show you some DJ Bradshaw, yeah? I'll put it like this. Mm. My name is Batch. Hello, Batch. I don't know you from nowhere. But I decide, you know what? This guy is talented. I'm going to take him everywhere. I'm going to speak about him to every promoter. I'm going to speak to him. speak about him and try to get him to play at every opportunity that I could find him to play on. Until his name becomes care, a household yeah, name. I do not care if DJ Bradshaw plays for Jesus. I do not care if DJ Brad, Bradshaw plays for Lucifer. I just care that DJ Bradshaw of, plays. That DJ Bradshaw plays. I don't care. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm one hundred percent certain that when I bring DJ Bradshaw to a platform, he is gonna represent and he's gonna do a good job. Mm-hmm. I know that. So I do not care about what anybody thinks. Listen, I know more than 60 DJs, but I do not care. The same goes for Spade, the same goes for Simply E, and the same goes for every single DJ in UKZS. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, that's my mentality. And this is the mentality that I expect the UKZS DJs to have for me. Hey, Batch, make sure that I have your music. Okay, boom, send them the music. Wherever they go, they shouldn't care about any reservations in regard to anybody else? Because here what? Who have you seen calling these DJs and saying, hey, here's an opportunity. Here's another one. Here's another one. Who is talking about these DJs 
in forums that or, or platforms where nobody else is there to see who's bragging about them and making noise about them all the time um, and ponging their names into these promoters heads and saying yo please give this youth man a chance yeah, give him a play true. give no, him a play I, well i know definitely nobody you're not talking about me nobody else is not doing it i know you're definitely but, you're not talking about me because when they say the part when they say youth man i know you're not talking about me this is what i'm saying so for me you know what I'm, I'm so, so, hold on, so, hold on, hold on. so what i'm saying is yeah now if it can start with one who is me like i've seen my djs stand see me standing right there and play other people's music. I mean, I'm not emotional or upset with them or nothing. I'm not going to tell them it's mandatory that they have to play it. Well, I should but, say it's but, mandatory that they play it. But it's a mindset. I'm just trying to show them that if you support who supports you, if you push who's pushing you to get further in your career, mm -hmm. what? Like, bro, nobody can well, tell listen, you no. One thing I have to say about, I, I can talk about me. I, it's, it's about a meeting now. I don't give a shit. I just play batch music. Yeah. I always play batch music except for the asian night because they wouldn't know what the hell they it is right. but even but even though but even I, though I would have, make them learn it yeah I, no no use the acapella and play donut chutney yes but on that no I, i've done that many times don't worry well yourself. do it on the asian night well not this one that went on the next one right yeah good you happy but even I've, if, but bro, one even thing, if, but, but even I've, if it's a popular rhythm, no but listen i have always so talented i've bro. You always can played if it's one thing i can't say yeah, is you that, are, I, everywhere I go, Bradshaw I've, does, you do, Spade yeah, does. Yeah. You know what you, I mean? You guys always do. Yeah. And I, I, I play other UK artist music as well. You know what I mean? And, and that's it me. It should be a movement. Every yeah. single, every single. But um, not everyone DJ does it. Or in the UK, it's supposed to be just like automatically say, oh, I'm going to play some, some local. Yeah. But anyway. Your warm up set, your main set, just, just to do something, man. And, and this is what I was saying. What I was saying earlier is the limited ability of a lot of DJs mm -hmm. and the inability. To know how to usher in new music if they don't hear other people playing it mm -hmm. they cannot play it if it don't come out of what people consider to be the soca mafia mm -hmm. they don't play it if it doesn't play from the djs and them who they think is the ones who lead in any game mm -hmm. what you know what that does mr dj it makes you immune you carry the load that other people pack exactly through. why does your care choose where you want to play for yourself dog right good so okay. with that said so that that is that topic that we proper cover that topic we, so the well, general now. the general consensus is djs in the uk need to do better they need to do better promoters in the uk <laughs> you know, funny need now. to do better here we're funny here we're funny well. so it's about a couple of djs that us fly out and go and play music elsewhere now mm -hmm. so you know like when people doing carnival mixes you can see a carnival mix for saint, saint vincent mm -hmm. holy pavinci music a carnival mix for trinidad Holy Patrini music, mm -hmm. a carnival mix for Barbados and all the islands, holy part their music. Mm -hmm. But uh, any any DJ, any DJ on the UK in the UK right now, show me a nothing else carnival. Show me a nothing else carnival, so can mix now and see how much local in it. Mm. Tell me, show me. And and and, and nothing else carnival, so can mix full up our music from St. Vincent. Barbados, children, <laughs> everything. <laughs> really? And when I really check in, they're thinking, well, like nobody does sing soca in England then. Nobody does sing in soca in London and no, England. And listen, and I remember I did a mix and I posted a mix cloud and I put I put batch music in it and I put Mersey music in it. I put who else? I put Chanel music in it. I put Taj music in it. You know, you know what I mean? All these people, uh, uh UK soca, Teradan music in it, I put Teradan music, I, I put um um who's this next one? Vibes King music in it. All these people from the UK. And I'm not afraid of experimenting with, with new music. I'm not afraid of that. You know what I mean? But sometimes people, just, I, I, I don't know. It's something that myself and Batch had, had ended up in an argument with. Not really argument, in a, discussion, argument discussion. in a discussion. In a discussion with, uh, uh, for, for years now, we've been discussing that. You know what I mean? Bradshaw is new to this discussion, so we allow him. You know what I mean? But anyways, people. So, yeah. So, that covers that topic. The general consensus is, as DJs and artists and promoters, Sorry, as DJs and promoters, we need to do better. We'll Full do stop. Better. And we need to show the artists yeah. a lot more respect. Amen to that. Amen Boom. To that. And that topic done. A big L, big L for the DJs and promoters. Big L. Right. Good. Right. So now that's topic one. Topic two. Moving on from there, we want to talk about the, this ve one here. The, the, the venom that you're talking about. We ain't going into that venom. You ain't going into that venom, venom tonight. tonight. So we right. podcast done then? No, no, we podcast ain't done. We're going to talk about... Persistence. Huh? Persistence. Yeah. So what we're going to talk about is 
guys who are over persistent towards females mm-hmm. and girl who think because they're nice and they just up in a little skimpy skimpy and they can bust a little two flirtation that man have some bird brain and they can get what they want from them you you so okay so who gonna we said you I was so, like, so, I said, so okay so all right so let's start so give us an example let me let me give me give me something to work with give me something to so, work with so for example mm. You know, he's a he's a DJ, he's an artist, or he's a patron and a dancer. Mm-hmm. Because she just up nice, because she feel like she want to come flirt with you and thing, 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 thing. She want to come and spend your money for you. She, she pay for that all. She see with a drink in your hand. She want a sip. She want a sip. Yeah, she want a sip. Or she hey, that remind me. Ooh. No, that no. You see that that is one of the most annoying things I ever experienced. You see when I go and I buy my drink to you know what I mean. And if you want a drink, ask me to buy a drink. Mm-hmm. And if I want to, I will. If I want, I won't. If I don't want to, I won't. But do come to me and ask me for a sip of my juice now. What, 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 what about if they, if they come and say, well, buy a drink for me now? No, I think that's <laughs> already Ask better than that. That happened to me already, you know. Ask better than that. When I was in Trinidad, oh, listen, scre- uh, uh, Screamer in South Trinidad, we have a big event when I was part of Masala 101. Big event. That's real girl. Real, that's real pretty. Everything. You understand? Uh, where are you going? You're going to pee? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm catching up the age. You are adult pumpers, or? No, no, no. Yeah, so in Trinidad, Screamers, Screamers, Studio Rock Golf View, when we were part of that, Masala 101, this young girl, real pretty and everything, walk up to me and thing, and we started to, we, we started to talk and thing, and the first thing, but bad drink from me now, I'm like, what are you from? Yeah, sometimes they're just too boozy. No, no, but, like, but it's, it's the get to, the get to this in it now, eh? Listen. I said this we were talking before we started recording today. Mm. You can be Chris. You can look good. You can be so sweet and curvy and nice and oh my God. And from the time you open your mouth and it sounds like a prick, like underneath somebody's sandals that mash dog shit. If you have a certain attitude, you think you're better than everyone else or you think you're entitled, mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with you. No, no, and, fuck and off. And also... <laughs> if if you have this attraction towards me, mm. and just because you are confident within yourself, mm. you assume that I share that same attraction towards you, so you move in a certain way. Like, you know, it's like take the hint. Like, listen, if if you're trying to move fast and you're getting dead energy, take the hint. Like, like. Uh, you, you you're pretty right but, but again, you're not for me like allow it yeah but you're right okay so so again so give us something to work with. give me an example like, like an no example. there's just been there's just been times before where it's like a female may, may have taken a liking now, now again the djs have a reputation mm-hmm. um and also artists as well um some artists and djs live up to that reputation mm-hmm. hashtag bachelor life some people may live the bachelor life in secret, in private, we, yeah, you know, that's not our business. But right. a lot of the time, people just assume that that everyone's on this and on that and 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 etc. etc. Now, now for you, at, at this point, is is different. Uh, as if for you, for simply e, is different because mm-hmm. you've been in this game a long time. Oh, You're a lot older now, okay. so mm-hmm. like you will say in your younger years as a DJ, mm-hmm. you, you again you have people throwing themselves at you, etc. 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 Had. And yeah. still, and still do actually. So, from a DJ's perspective, look, 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 just say some shit. Watch, watch him, watch, watch, watch him, him, watch him. But if people train themselves out here right now, it's probably the king and the, and and and. Oh and, God! And the <laughs> 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 the, the, the <laughs> nah, that's weird stuff. <laughs> and and the dentures. <laughs> like, always. I know he's old, but jeez. But yeah, wait, so wait, wait, no, hold on. He can't. Be, he wouldn't be young forever. No. Don't worry yourself. When my yeah. time reaches, my time reaches. Yeah, because my time now. my <laughs> my yeah, but my hairline's still there. Oh, right now he hairline go back like Mo, Mo, uh, Moses age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try. I try. It, it was close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait. This. Wait. This. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I forget that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Can you please pronounce the letter T? How about fuck you? <laughs> so yeah, so again, ladies that just feel that because they look good, they can just throw themselves at you and you're gonna play along with it. Yeah, so sometimes, 
sometimes I've seen people just play like I've seen DJs, my friends, my colleagues, whatever. They just play play along with it because they're bored. I no because, time for that. Because they just want like like you know like you just entertain it for the sake of entertaining it. But, but no, I have no time. But for yeah, that. allow it. Or you get some people that you know they they are living the bachelor life. Yeah, I just I just want no time for them and the bullshit. Right? I, but I, yeah. You know so, I mean? so personally hello hello you see this that this is what me and you just followed for oh god ladies Put your fucking phone down my biggest good. bugbear is ladies that assume that because they look good they're entitled to be able to be oh, that close to me yeah, and touchy yeah. that, 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 that's until they get the ultimate dj simply fuck up trust me trust Bro. me well, that, know, is, that, is know, that is last a lifetime i know you know with me don't have one thing for them to get Oh fuck's sake, man! You know what I mean? And they go get with the duck wet. The body duck get if they play wet wrong me. Hence why I said some people live up to the stereotype that DJs okay, minds yeah, have. Yeah. Honestly, but you, 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 anyways, you know what? I, I done. Yes, I done. I done. I done. But yeah, so there's been a couple of uh, instances where you've seen like, 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 and sometimes it's even my own friends that they're after this person, and it's just constant, constant, constant. And if the energy. For me, if, if if I am interested in someone and I, I, I look to pursue it, if the energy that I get from them is dead, that makes my whole energy just go. So yeah, but why I, but why would you though? Why what why would you the thing is, no no so okay, so the, so uh, from what I gather from what you said is that they are, even though the, the energy is dead, the guys because the person pretty they're still trying to pursue. Yeah. But why? Why though? Dustiness. No, regardless. You they're not be, picking up yeah, on the that, hint. That's not being tusty. That's just being a cunt. Nah, so, that's, that's, I, I, I don't think it's that. I think no, it's, but they're not. They're not being they're th- oblivious. Nah, 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 nah. nah I yeah. don't think they're picking up on the hints. I doubt it. Are people but so stupid? Sure, all right, still. all right. Or they're is, too confident is in the their girl, self. Is the girl or guy leading them on? Because if the girl or guy say to them straight up and down, hey, I do a you know, I'm not interested. Yeah, but then the guys will look at some guys will look at that as a challenge. Until that the girl say, all right, all right, and skin open, and, and, and skin open she leg. You know what I mean? I've seen... And take bamboo girl or something like that. I've seen both instances. I've seen where, where the person's just... How you always seeing? You're the corner house macro or what? No, because I've, I've experienced a lot. I've seen a lot of things. <laughs> He's experienced a lot. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, I mean, I mean I've, I've, seen, I've seen situations like this before. Now, I'm a realist. Like when I was on the market. What? So are you not on the market anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't be real with you guys. You know. When <laughs> when I was on the market, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's say Oh I, batch batch talking, sorry. <laughs> no, listen now, when I was on the market and let's say I was interested in somebody, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I realized the person now give me the energy, but I realized like maybe it's like say for example they're like one of my peers. Like I, I straight up I'll be like, you like my brethren? If they tell me yes, I'll be like, I right, then no scene, I'll tell my brethren, hey, you know, yeah. she like yeah, you know? and link the scene. Yeah. I know what the man who just try to block and be like, who he have girl, he, 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 he have this, he have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what them type of guy. Pum pum freaking yeah, I am um, what not, you call it? I am feelings. not a, Yeah, I don't carry no. pussy I don't carry pussy feelings. I'm not a pad for other for girl period contraceptive. Pain. That way yeah. they're playing. I don't play wow. panadol for the girl period pains. You understand? I'm not blocking nobody. My name is not the wall of Jericho and I am not the great wall of China. I blocks nothing. <laughs> I am goal. <laughs> I'm a conductor. If I have to pass the energy, I'll pass the energy. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, you know, brother man, I will stay there and block and stress out myself. You mad on me. I not get myself caught up in them thing. If she not running it for me, she can run it for somebody else. I can't stand in the way of happiness. Other people may want be trying to be happy. Uh, uh, the play, and live the pl- after. play on the word happiness, eh? Her penis. Yeah, no, I don't no no <laughs> you say my like thing. It's my like city. You know, I'm going to vote. If, if it is that these two people, I let them do the thing, dog. You understand? Because not everybody is for me, and not me is for everybody. Mm. You know, vice yeah. versa. That's but what I think people, people's downfall is just what you said there. If you're not for me, that doesn't mean you're not for anyone. So why am I going to why am I going to block your blessing? And you shouldn't tote feelings neither. For example, tote a cooler, if, lighter. If if me and simply E are well. All right, me and simply are DJs in this game. If there's a booking that I want to get, 
that I don't get, but Simply E gets. I'm not going to try and block Simply E's blessings because everyone has their time and their time will forward when it's the right time. Yep. So, so again, mm-hmm. adapting that to know, the situation. You know, you know, you know what, what has happened to, 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 to a lot of people is this year? We could, we could look at life and say, hey, everybody is beautiful. But not everybody is attracted to everybody. Mm-hmm. Not everybody is for everybody. Exactly. Right. You know, and, and for some people, it's kind of difficult for them to accept who they are. Mm-hmm. And the quicker you accept yourself for who you are, is the, is the quicker you'll be happier in life. What you want you know what, I mean? what you need. Because like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, when, I was, when I was young, I, 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 I probably tried to move to some people who I wasn't mature, mature enough to be with. So I probably try to move to certain people who I wasn't um, secure enough to be with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and this is on many levels. It have um, financial security. It have emotional and mental security. It have maturity. Mm-hmm. It have it have so many different aspects. Different people like different things. Like it has some girls who just like dark skinned guys with gold teeth. It has some girls who like light skinned guys. It has some girls who like brown skinned guys. It has some, some girls, girls that like Rasta man with Rasta no teeth. Man. There's some you know you like real <laughs> shit we. <laughs> This man is a real cat ass flash week. No, wait, wait, wait that man. Hold on, hold on. You know, some, 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 some girls like fat guys with mopped up. <laughs> you know? You know? Some, some girls like slim guys with shortcut. Some, some girls like, 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 like people like me who do like to comb my hair, do shape up my bed, do give a damn, do what the hell I want, when I want, how I want, if I want, how I choose to. And then that's like seven me. head. You know, you understand? So, you know, you, you, you don't know. You can always throw your corn, and if and if and if the handle peck, you know just keep it moving. And you know you can always be friends with people. Still, still keep it respectful. They don't need to disrespect a girl because she don't like you. Mm. That's one thing that you know what I mean. Me. Like, 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 bro, that's someone's daughter, bro. Like, that's someone's you sister. Feel, bro. Listen, if they disrespect you, you feel they give a fuck if they like someone's daughter until no. they realize that if if they try to disrespect my daughter. You know, that's a, a whole different scene. fucking kettle yeah, of fish. Yeah, you don't have to disrespect people and things. Yeah, there's a the reason he don't have a daughter, eh? Well, yeah, actually. Well, yeah, yeah. he does have a daughter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who's mm-hmm. living the bachelor life right now, but then that's another topic. You know, um, yeah. Mm. So it's one of the ones where you just have to know yourself now, boy, and just keep it respectful and just know that if this one is not for you, the next one might be for you. You know, but we might have to phone a friend and get some insight on on these type of topics here. Who we calling? Who we calling? The one who's like a damn Tyra. She wicked just like Elmira. <laughs> so we calling Tyra? Yeah, man. Tyra Why Banks. Mm-hmm. Let's see what she says. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, let me see, let me see. Let me call I... my daughter and ask you what's going on. My child, my big child. So we calling Tyra Alio. Big child. We calling Tyra Alio. Oh, big child. Went to... yeah. We calling Tyra Alio. Last time. No, it's not. We Tyra. Hi, hi, uh, hi, 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 daughter. It's your oh God. It. Tyra. Tyra. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let, let me all, tell you something. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, she's from Bombay, India, Calcutta. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what the hell was that? So, so Tyra, we just we we we're just here at First the Come Let Go. We here at the Come Let Me Go podcast. Welcome, Tyra. Welcome. Welcome, to the first time. Welcome to the Come, come Let, let me go. go podcast. <laughs> I'm here with DJ Simply E, DJ Bradshaw, and myself, Bachelor the Bachelor, the Gallimus Bachelor, your father in the flesh. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um, oh my God, all right. Shall I tell the whole world? Yes, yes. They shall know that if anybody mess with my daughter, they're going to pay the consequences and the prices. You oh understand? My the God, prices are high. Listen to him or something. The prices are high. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we're just here. Oh, oh LA is awake. Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello, Dumpling. I'm a grandchild. I'm a grandchild. Yeah. Laughing. So um, basically, we're here discussing um, overzealous people who don't want to take no for an answer. You know, oh, um, I think I shouldn't be involved or something. I think, I think, I <laughs> oh think you should, because I know, I know you're a um, you're a young woman. <laughs> you're you're on you're on the scene. You just come out to UK. Zest, you just come out to party and thing. And you know, I'm I'm pretty sure. Well, well, I, I don't know if it, have you ever experienced somebody trying to um. Trying to move there and you're, you're not really on that and, and thing and thing. So, so how was that experience for you if you have been through that experience? Wait, but my situation is different, guys. How so? How so? Because it wasn't direct, it was indirect. Well, expatiate and expound. Oh, shit. 
I can't do that. Oh, I'm shit. sorry. Why? I mean, why oh my you? God. Hold on, hold on. Why did you can't do that, beta? Betty, Betty, I come on, expose Betty. Uh, what's going on? Hypothetically, <laughs> hypo- <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, come on, come on, be a sport. <laughs> Let me hear a thing. Mouth, mouth open. Don't that, don't that, don't that, don't that, don't that, don't that. Live long and prosper. He's that. telling me I should save the people, them. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, Fuck. without without getting personal, just speak about the the the, the topic in in um in at hand. General, you know? wow. So, what is the question? The question is: Have has someone ever tried to, you know, um, pursue make you, a, make, pursue you, and it wasn't reciprocated? <laughs> Yeah, that laugh. Yeah, that sound like it has happened a lot, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Can I eh? say yes or something? No. Oh. Oh. Well, tell me. Talk again. We, we. The floor is yours. The floor, the floor, the mic, the phone, everything is yours. Um. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, she really. Well, she really don't want to get herself involved in this, boy. You right. guys trying to get me in trouble. No, all right, all right, all right. Word the question differently or something. Has somebody ever tried to ask you out? As in, would you be or or, or hint to you that they want you to be their person? They but, want you to you be the baby. Yeah, but I you didn't. That. You didn't. Um, you didn't feel as though you were inclined. You didn't. You didn't want. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. I Tara. Yeah. Ha, ha, hold on, hold on, hold on. How did you? Hey. Are you shy? Who? Hey. Is Tara being shy? Yeah, I she did. is. No. All right, Tara, I Tara, think, Tara. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think the questions are a bit yes. All right, Tara. So, <laughs> all right. So, hear this, yeah. What is your opinion on guys when they try to move to girls, and the girl is giving them no energy at all, but they continuously try to pursue, like take the hint. Okay. See, Bradshaw needs to take take control because he's yeah, making it. this easier. Yeah, do it, do it, then, Bradshaw. Do it. You, yeah, she like the way she now. like the way you take control, Bradshaw. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she like it. She like the way you take control. <laughs> Bradshaw in control. Brad. She like that. <laughs> oh my Brad God! In control, so she like that. No, that's my sister, but no, no. Go on, Tyra. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to in, my, in, like, in my opinion, I think it, it gets a little bit creepy. Do you know what I mean? Like, not creepy. Maybe cringy is the word. But, but like, personally, it, mm-hmm. I feel like if a man is trying to do a lot and you're not really entertaining it like that, but the person thinks you're entertaining it, mm-hmm. so they continue to do that. It it makes me. I can only speak for myself in it, but it makes me feel like it's a bit cringy. Like I don't really want to. Do you know what I mean? I don't really want to mess with you anymore. Like, I don't even want to be a friend. All right, so, with that being said, yeah. Just so it can end a friendship, yeah? So if, if he's being overzealous, it, it could potentially end your friendship. Nice. Potentially, it will. So, nice. with that being said, Tara, yeah? I mm. want to ask the question. Mm-hmm. And it's a very simple question. And the question... Wait, I forgot the question. Oh, I can't... Oh my god, I, I was, think it wasn't simple or something. He's gonna, he's gonna it is lie. a simple question. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the question. Um, so, would you rather tell him straight up, listen, I know you may feel this way, but I'm not feeling the same way, so I beg you just like allow it, or you try and just, just tell him, listen, like. Yeah. Did that make sense? Do you know what? Yeah, it made sense, but like, how I'm gonna answer might not make sense. But fucking the first way, I would prefer that being like straight up and that. But you can only be straight up if you know mm-hmm. that that was a man's intentions. Like, obviously, in the situation that everybody's thinking about, mm-hmm. I only know from other people. Do you know what I mean? Right. Uh, All right. So I want. I want to ask I a w- question. I don't feel... I don't Big up feel... Elea in the background, though. She's being very loud, fam. Right. Yes, she's annoying. What do you want? Right. So I, I want I want to ask a question. So uh-huh. seeing that we're talking about these guys, they're trying to they're trying to be persistent or whatever. But we mm-hmm. there's one thing I wanna, I've want i always wanted to ask. What's the deal with women and friend-zoning guys? 
I just think, like, do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal with that? I mean, it's the same with man friends and girls, isn't it? Like, they're just, you're just not a bit of them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Wait, it seems, I feel like you, you need to elaborate with friend. your question. No, she knows exactly what I mean. No, but we don't know. Either. All right, so, okay. So, you have, okay, so this guy, he, he really like he, he really likes you, right? Really, really likes you. Mm-hmm. He's doing everything nice for you and everything, and both of you all spending a lot of time or whatever, whatever, whatever. You understand? And then, when he decides to uh, say, you know what, I really like you, and he's like, oh, no, 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 but I never look at you like that. I look at you as just a friend. Well, I mean, realistically, I if, if, like, if it was me, cool. If, oh, my God. Shit, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a light friend zone, to be honest. In my opinion, that's a light friend zone. It is, it is because realistically, the problem with that situation is the man did get the wrong idea. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but, like, but, but what have you done to, to make sure that the idea was not the wrong one? Well, I mean, you'll uh-huh. never know in it because I could, I could, I could punch someone, and that might make someone like me. Do you know what I mean? It like, depends on if they. Really it depends on if they. If that's the kind of thing that they're into. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? They might like to go out. They might like to spend money. They might like to hug up and all of that. Do you know what I mean? But that might not be what the person wants. So they might like to hug up. They might like to spend money. So might like to spend money. Might want. Might like to hug up. And then after when they all they don't hug up and think, no, no, I'd like you for just a friend. Sometimes you need that type of friend. That, do you know what I mean? Not for true. Sometimes but, 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 you need that some type people of get friend. The wrong, the, if I want my, get the wrong idea. Some <laughs> people like like me. Cool. I'm. I'm. Everybody who knows me knows I'm really friendly. Do you know what I mean? I am no, actually not, a nice she's person. Actually, very scary. Mm. Shut the shut your dirty mouth. But I'm actually a Is nice it? person, innit? Mm. <laughs> so realistically, it's understandable if certain things get portrayed the wrong way because you know. That's just how I am as a person, isn't it? Like I might, I might say a few things that you might think, oh, that means she likes me or something like that. But it's not. That's just the way I talk. Do you know what I mean? But is it is it the duty of the woman to make sure that even if she knows she's friendly and she's a nice person, if she knows that this person is taking it the wrong way, don't you think that it's her only duty if, to uh, like, to like not leave him on it's, and it's even look up some of the friendliness? I mean, a hundred percent. You shouldn't leave wait, wait, the person on, on in it. But hold on, stop. That, that, that is Tyra, Tyra, yeah, right? Tyra. Did you just say only if it be, yeah. if only if it's becoming a problem? Did you just say that? Because if you if you said something already and you show the person that it's not adapting and they're still moving the way they're moving, it's then becoming a problem. No, but so that, now it is your duty. No, to, but Tyra, to do hold on, it. hold on. Now I'm going back to what you said. Ooh. What Bats asked you just now, and you said, shut up, um, Bracho. But ask your question. He said, only if it becomes a problem. If it's the duty of the woman to let the guys know that they don't like him like that. And you said, only if it becomes a problem. And this, and this, you being a female, and not, and not, I just have to choose my words carefully because people might want to cancel me and thing. You being a female, you being a female, that statement sort of kind of contradictory because what you stating is you will allow this person to to give to give you current as we like to say and I don't only sufficient. only if it becoming a problem and say okay no i don't like it like that no 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 that's not what she said that's not what i'm trying to say right right that's I'm just asking. Trying to say. Like, let's, uh, let's, yeah. let's 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 even go back to the situation that i'm currently in okay i don't know a person may or may not like me right i only know that a person may or may not have had a conversation with another person that has told me about this conversation and it's making, like, do you know what I mean? It's making things make sense. That's from like Parliament, I'm not gonna but now right. go and I'm not going to now go and talk to this person and tell this person, da 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 it's not adapting this and the other, when realistically, I don't know 100% that it's adapting from that person. Do you know what I mean? So if it becomes a problem, Adapt. if what's going on becomes a problem, mm-hmm. then it is my duty to stop a man from moving well, mad. Do you so, know what I mean? So what you're saying is, at the, at the instance where you realise what, what has been what you've been made aware of from the time you realize that hey what this this is now evident to me you're gonna let this person know hey um i don't mean to break your heart or anything but you know i'm not really i don't like you like that and then because i'm the type of person that will hurt a person's feelings and i don't want to do that and then if he carries on that's when she said after she's made it clear with the person if he then carries on that's when it becomes a problem 
That's no, what she said. Do you know what I mean? Like, but it would become a problem for me from the get go if that is the case. No. No, not, not necessarily. No, no, because think, no, think about it. Not necessarily. Wait, no, wait, not necessarily because a man can be pursuing you, but they can be pursuing you like, you know, let's go to the cinema or let's go get something to eat. But I can shout Bradshaw and tell Bradshaw, let's go cinema, let's go get something to eat. That doesn't mean I'm trying to pursue him. No. So that doesn't mean like it's already a problem because I yeah, don't know, you know that. Though, you know what like, I mean? You like, could just be being a friend. Yeah, but, but we're all big people though. It's like, for example... Let me say if 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 I if I if I if I if I tell the apple of my pie the the, the apple my, of my yeah, pie if I tell the apple of my pie let me go to the cinema and think she don't know it's a date you understand but if 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 yeah, if, if, if I if I say that's, if that's I say different. if I say to like Michelle or or or, or the or the girls in his esteem like oh, let me go let me go let me tell the cinema or something like, you think anybody can no, talk about I trying to pull out no, that? No, that's a friend thing. Are, no, listen, there are different levels to this. So there's, you know, a, there's and, and 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 you know, you know, you know, I must, I must say, you know, I, I, I meant to um to start, you know, doing some more outings with the apple of my pie, you know, because we, <laughs> oh we haven't really God. touched Shut it for up. a while. And I, 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 I think, I think, I need, this is your section need to do, or something. I need to do Shut better. Up. I know I need to do Shut better, up. so baby, you know, super show, shout out to Spanish time, just know Shut up or you're my mind and I'm thinking about you, okay? Yeah. Right, you take it out next time. You, you know, I'm not living in bachelor life and thing no more. Oh my God, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> so if you're listening to this Let podcast, me tell you I just want you know, you know. Let me tell you something. I, I'm going to do better, you know, and take you out and think of me. Oh my. Oh, hey. Oh, he ain't doing you know, fuck out. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. From your own daughter, you know. She yeah. said he ain't doing it. She, she just don't want to step mother, I know. Oh, God. She, she just don't want... She, she, she don't just, want to step mother. She just don't want to step you mother. You think anyone can be my step mother? They can just be someone you fucking. No, so, no, no, yeah. no, 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 not Th- this one. That's what this I love about no, Tyra, you know. She's so outlandish. Like, she's so my, just, she just says it. You, you're going to have to have some respect for your step mother and call her step mommy. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Oh. Uh, that. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, you have to say oh. step mom. Oh, oh you have got I hope God she's me. smiling. I hope she's smiling right now because you're giving her her little two minutes, but it's not oh. really going to last. So we'll just yeah, let you have you're that. Like, gosh, let that. you have that. Try to read on my Try to on my Twitter. Me, 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 me. I tell you, mother, she should have beat you more when you were small. Me, 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 me. I think she should have beat you or something. Yeah, oh my god <laughs> hey, Tyra big up your damn song yeah, big up Tyra big up you don't know realness at, realness oh, at its I best I can go now why why you wanna go uh, come off the phone oh, no, I just... ba- baby don't listen to your, your step child <laughs> yeah man cause you look like trying to draw me out or something yeah. Yeah. simply each trying to draw you out me what's the next topic what's the next topic the next topic is, is the end of the podcast hold on hold on hold on, hold on. So what about so what about what what do you think about girls who think because they're pretty they're entitled to get stuff from girls? Ah, I think they're done out here, and I think they need to grow up. Ratings. That's grow what up. I think. Grow up, but they will never yeah. grow. They will never grow up because because they, they've been pretty all their life. They they they've been given stuff because they're pretty. So they will never grow up. Hey, Tyra's one of them girls, you know. I call her. Oh, uh, that that doesn't validate nothing for me. If you think that because you look nice, you must get this and you must get that, then you're in for a shock oh, because they, they, it's not like the world don't work like that. Listen, then then then, 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 then come across a DJ simply in the line. Trust me, the good job I did raising this child. <laughs> Trust me. And this is the good job I did with this child. Tyra, I'm proud of the answers that she gave me. Here Tyra, these 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 girls and them, these Kim Kardashians and Chloe Kardashians and them, they ain't come up at they, they buck up at DJ Simply yet because I'll fuck mm. them the fuck up and I don't care. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> You yeah, understand? I think you might get sued or something. I'm so not saying I kick them in the freaking old cap. Think... So Tyra, what is your um what's your plans for um for Thursday night? I don't know. I need to know what location Thursday night is going to be in. A private one. <laughs> because we're on the podcast. Oh my god. Private location. <laughs> private location. Private location. Private location. But Tyra's going to be at UKZ. Yeah. Most likely. Big up yourself, UKZ. Why? All of that. All of that. All right. Yo, Tyra, big up, yes, big up, Tyra. Big up, yes, done, thank no. you very much, Tyra, for giving us a moment of your time. Big up, my lovely grandchild, for giving us the lovely. Wait, quick question: Are you not gonna Facetime me, or can I go sleep? 
Uh, I may or may not call you after the podcast. She said you lot, not you alone. Well, nah, that's Ocean, do, ask, but, but, Ocean but, but, go in the bed. Ocean had to go in the bed in 20 minutes. So I have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, we had to lock off. <laughs> we had to lock off. Tyra, Tyra, we got link up. We got link up. We, we got link up, up y'all. Ta 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 that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, only yeah, seeing videos posted. We got, but we got, we got Black History Month. Yeah, but, up yeah and also, also, and you know, I had to plug my little thing on the 5th of November. The 5th of November, what? I had to plug, <laughs> because I had to plug my little thing. All the all it, all it's a set of immature caca holes, boy. Damn, man. All yeah, all it, now. Anyways, oh, on the, the 5th of November, Chutney Kingdom, DJ Simply E. Ravi B. Kingdom. Yeah, Chutney, Chutney Kingdom, Kingdom. Ravi B. Terry Gash Raj. For those of you who don't understand Chutney music and all that, yeah, I gotta be DJ in there. You're done, no. Big up to Mike Forbes. Boop, 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 boop. You're done, no. Yeah, man. Big up, man. DJ Styles UK. DJ Double M. They're gonna be on the inside. Yeah, man. Yeah? And uh, Batch Music is releasing music soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on something. We're working on something. Something. We're working on something. Yeah, man. Out and bad. All right. So guys, every podcast, but music, 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 you all know the they all know the chunk that we release. I'm still waiting. Who's that, Brady? I'm still waiting. But I, well, for Brady, I, I for do Brady. my part. I do my part. So listen, vocals, record, so, song, so, mix, and master. Yeah, but the, the thing, I don't know why Brady bringing it up because you'll be standing up next to him and he still wouldn't play your fucking song. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I play that song all the time. So it actually like, does, you know. Mm -hmm. all over the yeah, place because if, if, listen, if it wasn't for that freaking dub play to do for him, he never play a fucking song. And and it's not even that song. The gas Mac Nine. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, all yeah. Music on the horizon. Yeah. Listen. Anyways, outros, guys. Outros, guys. Stop watching a fucking phone. Oh, is it me first? Yes. No, I did the intro, so I can do the outro. What? Yeah. But she, that, make it make sense. I did the intro so I can do the I don't give a Baby fuck. I, I tell you. Come let we go. <laughs> we go and jump a plane. Oh, well, yeah, listen, you don't know it's a way DJ go. Bradshaw make your girl mad for sure. Take your girl away for sure. Yeah, you know, I say think, I, there. I, I think you're a little confused, but that's all right. Nah, listen, we, we, we're in the process of making a tagline. This Friday, Soka Frenzy, Scala, this Sunday, Free soccer party, you know, say so you guys as representing. Mm -hmm. Shabai DJ Bradshaw, we outside. Big up outside. to my co-host, man. Big up your damn self alongside. Bradshaw. You don't know, it's your boy, Batch, the husband, the girl, the husband. <laughs> you know, Big up to my baby, I love you, I miss you, you know, hug you up later and thing. You know, and yeah, man. What? You know, it's getting cold and it's, it's England, it's did winter, he, it's coffee did he season. Just, did he just say he loves yeah, somebody? Son, yeah. Batch don't love nobody? Batch don't like both. people? They both. When I say what I say, leave it said. You understand? It is what it is, baby. You know, go on my right. Yeah. <laughs> husband. I'm living the husband life. Man. Man. Uh, uh, anyways, all the ID just simply E, we go on. What? No, no, no. Because you didn't do the full. Now, nah, all let's try to fuck up my intro no, and my outro. It. Do it. Oh, no, fuck all here. Do it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Let me do it. We go on. We go on. Too. The we king of Akana, the lord of chaos, the ninth one of the world, the S and the AMP to the OYE. Yours truly, DJ Simply E. Saying peace, love, unity are gone. Thank you, Bradshaw. Wait, right. wait, 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 wait. It's better to face life with no legs than to face... Wait, where is it? Exactly that. No, no, no. What? You gotta remember, you gotta remember the beginning of the day. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 like, that's a simply joke, you know. He why does not apply to he? Oh, yeah. he does. No, it's not <laughs> a joke. Time, no, he used to say on radio, it's better um, to face knife, to better face to face life on two knees than to face knife with no legs. On your knees, in other words, with prayer than to face life with no legs. Without God, nothing is possible. Thank you. That's what Outside. I meant. See, without possible. <laughs>
People, we go on. God can't make it possible for it to be possible because then there would be no possible. <laughs> People, we go on. Come, let me go. Podcast show, we go on. DJ Simply, Patch, Brad Show. Come, let me go down the Come, road. Come, let me go. We go in a hover place. Jesus Christ, Brad Show. All right, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. I call it so. We go in a hover place.